All right, three, two, one. Hey, I'm Rob Still, and this is a special pre-recorded edition of Just Worshiping for Monday, August 28th. And how in the world are you? Usually I have my little countdown song uh, before we begin as people gather on the live stream, but uh, I thought it would be better just to start with live music uh, for today. So uh, as people are gathering on the live stream uh, a little bit later, uh, I'll do like another greeting as they find the stream and that kind of thing. So uh, we'll start today with Psalm 138. And this, uh, I don't do a whole lot on the live stream, but uh, I lead worship on a regular basis at a little Anglican church here in the Nashville area up in Hendersonville, Holy Family. And uh, this is one of the Psalms we will be doing uh, for today. So Psalm 138. And before we even do that, Father, we do thank you for this day, Lord. We dedicate this new week, the last week of the month, to your purposes and for your glory. God, we know that your word says you are looking for those who will choose to worship you in spirit and in truth. And the reason I am here is to simply encourage us to worship the Lord with all of our heart, with all of our minds, with all of our soul, and all of our strength. So we thank you for being here with us now. I pray your blessing on all who worship with me. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen and amen. Psalm 138. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. Even before the God will I sing praises to you. I will worship toward your holy temple and praise your name because of your loving kindness and your truth. For you have magnified your name and your word above all things. When I called upon you, you heard me and gave me increase of strength. All the kings shall praise you, O Lord. For they have heard the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the ways of the Lord. That great is the glory of the Lord. For though the Lord be high, yet he has respect for the lowly. As for the proud, he beholds them from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, yet shall you refresh me. You shall stretch forth your hand upon the furiousness of my enemies, and your right hand shall save me. The Lord shall make good his loving kindness toward me. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Despise not the work of your hands. Amen. Well, friends, if you're just joining me now, this is the live stream of Just Worshiping for Monday, August 28th, and this is a pre-recorded version, so I encourage you to say hello in the comments. I will eventually, uh, we're, we're traveling on Monday, I'll look at the comments and try to interact with you. Maybe I'll be able to do it live. I'm not 100% sure, uh, but I uh, wanted to keep our tradition and our habit here of spiritual formation of taking some time to come before God, to give him praise and then to intercede for his pur kingdom purposes through prayer. Yeah, so Psalm 27 says this, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Lord, we thank you so much that we have nothing to fear when you are our light. The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Just declare that right now. The Lord is the stronghold of my life. And of whom shall I be afraid? When evil people advance me to devour my flesh, when my enemies and my foes attack me, they will stumble and fall. And though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Just say it right now. Today, my heart will not fear. This week, my heart will not fear. Even though war break out against me, even then will I be confident. Verse 4 of Psalm 27. One thing I ask of the Lord, and this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of 
my life, one thing, one thing, one thing we seek today, Lord, is to see your face. We want to see your face, Lord, and to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his tabernacle and set me high upon a rock. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see. this theme of seeing God. Uh, Those of you who follow me know that I like to orient my spiritual journey and personal times of worship around the Christian year calendar. And I'll borrow things from the, excuse me, Jewish year calendar. Got to have a sip of coffee. (laughs) Still live, man. I'm not editing this. We're just, it's just like we're here live and say something in the comments and I'll I'll definitely reply back to it when I get to it. Anyway, uh, so uh, the 60 days of preparation before Rosh Hashanah, the High Holy Holidays, the Day of Atonement, a time of preparation, a time of giving account. And uh, one of the themes that Rabbi uh, Seaman Jacobson writes in his uh, book, I follow this a lot, is the uh, Spiritual Guide to the High Holidays uh, during the month of Elul. So today's passage is... Um, 
is about seeing God. That's our theme this morning. I just wanted to share some of the things he says, and I'll probably comment as we go. Seeing God is the idea. So I'll, this is me, not him talking right now. We're, this whole idea of uh, why we do these things is to develop a relational history with God and a familiarity with the presence of God. And God invites everyone into a relationship, a relationship of intimacy. And it's, it's really mind-blowing that the God who created the entire universe, the entire cosmos, the heavens and the earth, and the God who will, at the end of all time, we've seen in the book of Revelations, bring all things to a final accounting, a time of judgment, where there will clearly be a separation of evil from good, and evil will be banished, and evil will be punished. That same God is the one who knows how many hairs on, are on our heads. He knows our very thoughts, and he invites us into a relationship of intimate communion and communication with him. This is, it's really mind-boggling, and that's why we're here, right, to just keep on developing that sense of the awareness of God because every day his revelation is fresh and interesting. Okay, so back to Rabbi Jacobson. Seeing God, he says here, perhaps the most dramatic experience that happens atop Mount Sinai is when Moses asked to meet God face to face. I beg you, show me your glory. And God responds, you cannot see my face for no man can see me and live, but I will put you in a cleft of a rock and will cover you with my hand while I pass by, and I will take away my hand, and you shall see my back. This exchange is puzzling. How could Moses not have known that one can only, I'm sorry, let me say that again. How could Moses not have known that one can only come face to face with God in the next world? And why does the Torah, or the Bible, document God's rejection of his request? And the answer is that Moses' request was not rejected. In the language of metaphor, Moses asked to understand God. And God responded by saying that it is impossible to see his essence in this world, but it is possible to see its reflection. Isn't that interesting? Everywhere around, this is me talking now, everywhere around us, we see the reflections of God. We see the reflections of God in his creation. We see the reflections of God in our relationships with other people, with the experiences we have of, of love, etc. In effect, God told Moses, you'll see my face by not looking. J Jacobson says, there are things we see in life by looking directly at them, and there are things we see with our eyes closed. That's so good. I want to say it again. There are things we see in life by looking directly at them. And there are things we see with our eyes closed. There are things that we hold on to by grasping them, by going after them. And there are things we, we hold on to by letting it go. Creative people know that when they let go, that is when the created creativity starts flowing. True. When they try to control it or force it, it does not come. The channels of creativity are blocked. For, create, for, blah, blah, for creativity to emerge requires letting go. The same thing is true of seeing God. God said to him, Moses, in effect, you will see me when you stop looking, and you will see me when you get yourself out of the way. And so the question he says here is, do you see God in your life? Have you learned by not looking? Isn't it interesting, these, uh, these two facts, right, that we get to know God by pursuing him, by, uh, by studying the word of God, because it's full of the revelation of God. And then we also um, come to know God and see him by being still, Psalm 46, being still and knowing that he is God by letting go, by not doing anything. Let's pray. Father, I pray the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart are pleasing in your sight. Lord, we pray for all uh, that are worshiping with us uh, on this um, recording and live stream. Father, I pray you would open the eyes of our hearts that we could see you. Lord, we ask for fresh revelation 
direction, guidance, wisdom, consolation, Lord, all the things that you can only give us through your Spirit. I pray this blessing on all who have heard these words in the name of God, the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, you can put an amen in the comments if you want. And of course, I know this will shock you. I have a song <laughs> that goes with this theme. <laughs> uh, let's see, is this the right place for the Fred? So this is a great uh, modern worship song. <clears throat> Paul Balash, thank you for writing so many amazing songs. Hey, I did a Balash song earlier. We're going to do another Balash song. Thanks be to God. This is called Behold Him. And the chorus says, be still and behold him. Lord, we want to see you. Lord, we are here to behold you. He who was before there was light walked across the pages of time. He who made every living thing, behold him. He who heard humanity's cry, left his throne to wake as a child. He became like the least of us, behold him. Son of God, Messiah, the Lamb, the roaring lion. Oh, be still and behold him. He who died sinners and saints heal the blind the lost and the lame even now he is in our midst behold him he who chose a criminal's end paid with blood to settle our debt buried death as he rose to life Behold him, Jesus, Son of God, Messiah, the Lamb, the roaring lion. Oh, be still and behold him, Jesus, Alpha and Omega, our God, the risen Savior. Oh, 
Alpha and Omega, risen Savior, we behold you. Now, friends, as is our um, habit, spiritual habit, let's come before the Lord now in a time of intercession prayer and petition. Lord, we pray for the needs of this world. And God, we pray for the needs of our friends and families and those we know in our communities. And Lord, we pray for the needs, our personal needs, Lord God. Lord, we pray for the church, the body of Christ, the ecclesia around the world. We pray, God, for pastors. We pray for leaders, God. We pray you would encourage them. We pray for our missionaries in every nation, in every sphere of culture and society. We pray for those who are just regular, everyday Christians in the marketplace. Let the light of Christ shine through their lives. Lord, we pray for your mercy for the persecuted church in every nation, God. Your mercy, Lord, hear our prayer. In your mercy, Lord, hear our prayer. Now I pray for you if you are in any kind of distress. We pray for those who are sick and need healing. We pray for those who are in hospice the peace of the Lord. He is a good shepherd. And he goes to prepare a place for you and me. And he is our deliverer. He is our warrior. Lord, I pray for all who are in any kind of distress, whether it's financial, whether it's health, whether it's relational, whether it's related to just their purpose in life, God. We speak life, we speak healing, we speak destiny, God. Hear our prayer, O Lord. Hear our prayer, O Lord. In your mercy, Lord, may he hear your prayer. In your mercy, Lord, he is hearing your prayer. In your mercy, Lord, hear our prayer. a moment just to pray out loud your own prayer. Thank you, God, you hear our prayers. In your mercy, God, in your mercy, God, hear our prayer. Let us pray as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father who lives in heaven, holy is your name. May your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Well, friends, thank you so much for worshiping with me today. My commitment by the grace of God is to be here live at 8 a.m. every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday on the Internet on Facebook Live and on YouTube Live. And uh, thanks for being with me for this special pre-recorded edition. Uh, If you would like to uh, get my music, go to robstillmusic.com. If you want to get my free ebook on the Hebrew words for praise and worship, go to robstill.com. If you'd like to partner with our missions trips coming up to Greece and Romania, go to robstillministries.org. I'll put a link in the comments when this has uh, aired. 
And thank you so much for your presence. Thank you so much for your partnership in the spirit and just encouragement. It's an encouragement to me to uh, see how many people join these live streams. I'm so grateful for you being part of my worship team. Yeah. And uh, okay. So until next time, may the Lord richly bless you and keep you, make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord bless the work of your hands and give you the desires of your heart. May the Lord go before you and fight your battles for you. May the Lord have your back. May he protect you from the schemes of the enemy. And may he surround you with his grace, his mercy, his favor, and his love. We ask in the name of God, the Father, Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Friends, that's going to do it for today. Should we do a bonus song? Well, okay, let's do a bonus song. <laughs> Jesus said that if I thirst, I should come to him, and no one else can satisfy, I should come to him. And Jesus said that if I'm weak, I should come to him, and no my strength, I should come to Him. For the Lord is good and faithful. He will keep us day and night. He will keep us day and night. Oh, we can always run to Jesus, Jesus strong and kind. said that if I fear, I should come to him, and no one else can be my shield, I should come to him. For the Lord is good and faithful, he will keep us day and night, we can always run Jesus strong and kind And Jesus said that if I am lost He will come to me And He showed me on that cross He will come to me He will come to you Banner over you and me is love, love, love. For the Lord is good and faithful. He will keep us day and night. We can always run to Jesus, Jesus strong and kind, Jesus strong and kind. All right, I love you guys, mis amigos. Until next time, vaya con Dios, you go with God. Bye for now. See ya, by grace of God, tomorrow. Bye.